idea of linking trans people with predators, frankly, is disgusting, and you should be ashamed. Crumbs and crikey. If there is ever one crystal clear example of the irrationality of this debate, this is it. That was Labour MP Lloyd Russell Moyle's reaction to Conservative MP Miriam Cates raising concerns the impact of the Scottish Gender Recognition Bill may have on women and children's safety, with particular focus on access to women and children's spaces, and the way, of course, the bill may be open to exploitation. So, the key thing to bear in mind throughout is this man is an adult who was once deemed the best available candidate, and still may be the best available candidate for the good people of Kemptown Brighton. Oh, and when he says the term dog whistle, it acts as an aphrodisiac, which serves to blow both his mind and a huge progressive load into his wide fronts. Let's take a look at what Lloyd is getting all juiced up about. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I rise to support the government's decision to use its Section 35 powers with respect to the Gender Recognition Reform Bill in Scotland. Now, like many other honourable members, I'm afraid I haven't had a chance to read this in full and in detail, so I will focus my remarks on a few key areas that I think are significantly important. Firstly, in paragraph 27, the government rightly points out the bill does not create sufficient safeguards. Um, and I think, indeed, the government is very right to be concerned about uh, fraudulent and malign applications uh, with the implications for child safeguarding. Now, I'm no expert of the law here, so we'll refrain from making any comment of the legality of this case or how this Scottish bill may or may not impact English law. However, it is important to remember that all concerns about women and children's safety are worthy of a listen. There are a number of cases which substantiate this, and even Nicola Sturgeon herself has been forced to backpedal this week because this is happening. Look, debate is good, especially open, respectful debate. Over to you, Lloydster. Lloyd Russell Moyle. Goodness me, that speech was probably one of the worst transphobic dog whistle speeches that I've heard in an awful long time. The idea of linking trans people with predators, frankly, is disgusting, and you should be ashamed. No, no, calm down. Wowzers. <laughs> Where to begin? Uh, let's start with the rather grayed outrage, shall we? In the very first sentence, he, Lloyd, accused Miriam Cates of being transphobic and using her speech to garner support from all other transphobes. That's what a dog whistle does. It's annoying, actually. I hear them all the time. I'm never sure whether to be angry, happy or horny. For me, this perfectly illustrates the problem. If this was a court of law, both sides would be prosecuting or defending from one point of agreed fact. That's not the case with this issue. One side believes anyone who says they are a woman is just that, a woman. The other questions this and says things like, it takes a lot more than wearing high heels and your nan's dress to be allowed to share a shower at the swimming pool with year nine girls. People love a victim. Oh, if I could bottle victimhood and sell it on Twitter, I wouldn't have bothered taking that Andrew Tate B-Tech in weightlifting and shagging birds. Right waste of time. Without a doubt, the small population of trans people across the UK have been victimised, but largely by the Lloyd Russell Moyles of this world. I'll prove this to you and that he is no ally with one photo. After his atomic level flap, he went and sat on the other side of the chamber to his party, right next to Miriam Cates. That's creepy. It's weird, and without doubt, it's intimidation. He's a right spoon. Do you want him on your side? Do you? By far the largest cohort negatively impacted by this debate is women. Women. They can't catch a break. They can't be identified properly or take a shit without anyone getting involved in the action. Let me know what you think in the comments. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Paul Cox Comedy. It is disgusting and you should be ashamed. Fuck me.